We have about uh, three minutes until we hit a hard break here. Uh, to my original question, um, what, what role have labor unions played traditionally in affecting or influencing an economy, in stabilizing an economy or destabilizing an economy, in growing an economy? And how should we think of labor unions from an economic point of view? I, setting aside the idea of you know, democracy in the workplace and, and justice for workers, uh, economically, how should we think of them? What unions have always been are defensive mechanisms of the working class. They are ways for workers to get better wages and working conditions than they would be able to get if they bargained individually with the employer. Workers getting together, forming a union, then are able to do what is called collective bargaining. That is, all of the workers on one side of the table and the employer on the other. That gets you a better deal, and typically workers have waited usually until things get really bad to finally get up the courage and the determination and also some anger about how they're treated and then form together and get a better deal. That's why the greatest unionization drive in American history happened in the depths of the Great Depression, the 1930s. You had pushed working class people to the wall. Remember the Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck and all that that described. And so they formed the union. It was the greatest unionization drive in American history. We never had anything like it before, and we've never had anything like it since. We're beginning to see now, because of the downward redistribution of wealth, that is, what I mean is that the bottom and the middle have lost wealth to the people at the top, this has become now so burdensome to which we add the inflation and the coming recession, that workers are beginning to show again the recognition that whether you're 10 people in a Starbucks someplace or a thousand people in an Amazon warehouse someplace, you better get together and bargain collectively uh, because that's your best chance not really to be driven to the wall in terms of what is happening in a capitalism, to go back to the first part of today, that's having more and more trouble because of the changing configuration of world capitalism. Yeah, it, it makes perfect sense and, and you know, an extraordinarily in, insightful uh, uh, take on all those things. Um, thanks so much, Professor Wolf, for dropping by today. It's always great talking with you. I always learn something. Thank you.